Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to cover a question from the forum. The question was how to identify where pictures will be taken. In that case, they were looking at a map, but I want to show how to do that and also how it doesn't work in all use cases and what other options we have. So first of all, we've got this map here. I'm, I'm going to be running a scan of this building soon. Um, and I've got a map over the top, but I've also got a facade around the outside. And I want to show you how things work and, and how they sometimes don't work. So how can we tell where the pictures are going to be taken on this map? Um, it's actually quite simple. If you go up here and hit Mission Preview, and it will generate the preview as it usually does. And then over here, you've got your, your typical map, but that doesn't show you anything. But if you if you look on the left hand side, if you look at the actual map itself and come up to the three dots next to the mission preview and click on those, you'll get this option that says toggle capture markers. And if you click on that, you'll suddenly see you get all these nice dots that appear where photos are going to be taken. Now for mapping, this works perfectly because you can see every place where the dot is going to happen. But for a facade where you have multiple pictures taken in a line going vertically, um, you only see uh, it's either the top or the bottom. I'm not quite sure. So that's not quite going to be good enough. So what can we do about that? What we can do about that is if you go over to Google Earth and export to Google Earth. And I'm going to open that in Google Earth now. And what I can show you is if you're in Google Earth and you have this captures item toggled, when you when you run your flight motion, I'm going to pause it and zoom out. You'll see you've got all these nice dots that show you exactly where photos are going to be taken. So you can do it two ways. You can do it in drone link directly or you can export. And then if you're if you're exporting, you can see you can see absolutely every place that these photos are going to be taken. So those are the two methods. One bonus item I wanted to cover is um, this is particularly important when you're doing things like um, 3D scanning and that type of thing, where you're going to have to process this in something like WebODM or Pix4D or something like that. Um, it's often quite useful to know how many photos are going to be taken, um, because that might affect how you opt to process them. For example, if you have a, a low powered machine that can't handle too many, you might want to offload it. Uh, I'm going to cover that in another video at some point. But one way you can do that is in this section down the bottom here where it says camera. If you go all the way to the right hand side and just hover over like the last item, you'll see it says capture 464 down in the bottom right hand corner there. Um, so each of these lines is a capture. And if you just go all the way to the right, it'll tell you this is the last photo that I'm going to take, and it's going to be 463, 464. So that's just a good way to identify just how many photos you're going to be taking. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next video.